And now space watchers are warning that China could launch 13,000 satellites to disrupt Starlink. Meanwhile, China is working on a mega constellation of satellites. It plans to challenge Elon Musk's SpaceX. Competition between the US and China. Well, that competition is now taking place on a new battleground. China is not happy with SpaceX's ambitious plan to provide global internet access with its Starlink satellite network. The country fears that the US-based company could use the thousands of satellites orbiting the Earth to spy on its activities and interfere with its own space ambitions. And so China has done what it always does and copied SpaceX by launching its own mega constellation of satellites to compete. But Starlink is a commercial entity that will use the technology for profit, whereas China's intentions are far more worrying. Join us as we examine how China just copied Starlink and why this has terrified the international community. In the past, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, has expressed concerns about Starlink, a massive satellite network developed by SpaceX. This constellation of satellites is designed to provide high bandwidth internet access in remote areas. The PLA's newspaper, Liberation Army Daily, suggests that Washington could exploit this technology to its advantage. For instance, when Starlink was offered to Ukraine last year during the conflict with Russia, the PLA's newspaper criticized it as aiding the hegemony-obsessed United States, even though Ukraine had requested this assistance. Starlink has played a crucial role in Ukraine's war efforts, enabling soldiers to communicate, identify targets, and share videos with the world. This system is difficult to disrupt. From China's perspective, this not only disadvantages its ally Russia, but also raises concerns about Taiwan, a self-governing island that China claims as its own. If Taiwan were to gain access to Starlink, it could make a potential Chinese invasion more challenging. However, China's concerns extend beyond this. It worries that the United States, through Starlink, is establishing dominance in the low Earth orbit, an area of strategic importance. China aims to become a major player in this domain and seeks the capabilities that systems like Starlink offer. SpaceX is about one-third of the way toward completing its 12,000 satellite orbital broadband internet constellation. As of now, they have successfully deployed more than 4,600 operational Starlink satellites up in orbit already, and more going up every few days. One noticeable shift in SpaceX's approach over the past several months is the change in the number of satellites launched per mission. Initially, SpaceX frequently launched batches containing 50 to 60 satellites at a time. However, this number has since dropped, with recent launches involving smaller sets of 21 or 22 satellites. While this shift might raise questions and look like a bad thing, it really isn't. Instead, it is a deliberate transition to the next generation of Starlink satellites, aptly referred to as Gen 2 Starlinks. These Gen 2 satellites are a significant upgrade over their predecessors, the Gen 1 Starlinks. So what sets Gen 2 Starlinks apart? One key difference is their size and weight. Gen 2 satellites are larger and heavier, which suggests advancements in their capabilities. Most notably, Gen 2 Starlinks boasts an impressive tenfold increase in bandwidth capacity compared to the earlier models. This means that they can transmit data at much higher speeds and handle more users simultaneously. So this is good for Starlink. But there is a bad news. In 2019, Amazon announced its own ambitious project to launch thousands of satellites into orbit and create a global broadband network. The project is called Project Kuiper, and it aims to rival SpaceX's Starlink service. While Project Kuiper has yet to fully materialize, Amazon has plans to deploy over 3,200 satellites into orbit. The goal is clear, to offer a formidable alternative to SpaceX's Starlink internet service. When Project Kuiper becomes operational, it will represent the first real competition that SpaceX's Starlink has faced in the satellite internet arena. This competition has the potential to pose a significant challenge to SpaceX's strategic objectives. One of SpaceX's key aims is to transform Starlink into a lucrative $30 billion a year business. The revenue generated from Starlink is not only intended to fund the development of SpaceX's ambitious Starship spacecraft, but also to garner interest for a potential initial public offering, IPO, of the Starlink division. 
In essence, SpaceX sees Starlink as a pivotal source of income that will play a pivotal role in its future endeavors. However, the emergence of a formidable competitor like Amazon's project Kuiper threatens to disrupt these plans. The satellite internet market is highly competitive, and the success of these constellations largely depends on factors like coverage, bandwidth, and cost effectiveness. With Amazon's vast resources and determination to succeed, SpaceX is sure to face a formidable rival in the coming years. Now, the bigger threat to Starlink comes from China, as the country has ambitious plans to launch not one but two massive constellations of internet satellites that could rival or even surpass Starlink in size and coverage. The first constellation is called Guowang, which means national network in Chinese. It is a state-owned enterprise that was established in 2021 by the Chinese government with the aim of building a global broadband network that can serve China's strategic interests and support its economic and social development. Guowang plans to launch up to 13,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, which would make it the largest satellite internet constellation in the world, surpassing Starlink's current target of 12,000 satellites. The second constellation is called G60 Starlink, which is a clear reference to SpaceX's Starlink service. It is a project initiated by the Shanghai Municipal People's Government in June 2023, with the support of several Chinese companies and research institutions. G60 Starlink intends to launch 12,000 satellites in medium Earth orbit, which would provide higher data rates and lower latency than low Earth orbit satellites. G60 Starlink also aims to offer satellite internet services to customers around the world, especially in developing countries and regions. These two Chinese constellations pose a serious threat to Starlink's dominance and profitability in the space internet market. China has a huge domestic market and a strong political will to invest in space technology and infrastructure. China also has a growing launch capability and a lower cost structure than SpaceX. Moreover, China could use its diplomatic and economic influence to promote its satellite internet services to other countries, especially those that are part of its Belt and Road Initiative. This move by China doesn't just signal competition, it also shows that the country is looking to play a leading role in the rapidly expanding space-based internet sector. With these ambitious satellite constellations, China aims to not only provide internet access to its own citizens, including those in remote and underserved areas, but also to potentially offer global connectivity services. Therefore, Starlink will have to face a formidable challenge from China in the coming years, as both Guowang and G60 Starlink are expected to start launching their satellites soon. SpaceX will have to compete with China not only on price and performance, but also on reliability and security. SpaceX will also have to deal with the potential issues of orbital congestion and space debris caused by the increasing number of satellites in orbit. As Space News reported earlier this month, the G60 Starlink project will begin with an initial deployment of 1,296 internet satellites. However, the plans for further deployment and expansion of the constellation remain opaque. What is clear, though, is that China's space program is evolving rapidly and ambitiously. China has achieved several milestones in recent years, such as landing on the moon in 2020, launching the core module of its own orbital space station in 2021, and declaring the station permanently staffed last year. China has also invested heavily in developing its launch capabilities, with plans to launch 60 rockets across various missions this year. So, how worried should SpaceX investors be about China's G60 Starlink project? Well, it seems that China is still lagging behind SpaceX in terms of satellite internet technology and production. For one thing, SpaceX has already launched more than 1,700 Starlink satellites into orbit as of April 20, 21, and plans to launch thousands more in the coming years. SpaceX also has a significant advantage in terms of satellite manufacturing capacity. The company can produce about 120 Starlink satellites per month at its facility in Redmond, Washington, 
while China's G60 Starlink project still needs to build its own satellite factory. According to Kasich, the initial plan is to have an annual production capacity of only 300 satellites per year, which means it would take more than 40 years to build the initial constellation of 1,296 satellites. Guowang, however, seems a bit farther ahead, with plans to send up 30 satellites this year, as reported in March. However, when we compare this to SpaceX's ambitious goal of launching 100 rockets this year, with the possibility of 80% of them carrying Starlink satellites, it's clear that SpaceX still holds a significant lead over China. In fact, eight out of SpaceX's last 10 launches were dedicated to Starlink missions. But despite SpaceX's current advantage, Elon Musk shouldn't become too relaxed. Here's why. If China is genuinely determined to catch up with Starlink, they'll need to emulate SpaceX's rapid launch frequency. Achieving this means building more rockets and increasing global launch capacity. This, in turn, could drive down launch prices worldwide. While this might be a bigger concern for higher-cost launch providers like United Launch Alliance and Ariane Space, SpaceX won't be immune to the impact. This situation poses two challenges for SpaceX to consider making it something they should be mindful of moving forward. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.